You know those movie scenes where it looks like people are floating? Like this, or this, or my personal favorite, this. Well, most of the time they're using rigs that cost hundreds of thousands of dollars, meaning we don't have access to this stuff. But I've always wondered, is there a way to recreate this Hollywood level effect? The other day, our good friend Chelsea Kawhi called us and said, So I'm working on this project with Canon. I want it to look like people are falling out of the sky. Um, to which I said, a person can't just fall out of the sky. We can't afford expensive harnesses. How much is this gonna cost? Will it even be safe? How in the world can we pull this off? Hello? Yes, we'll do it. Okay, I'll bring the trampoline. Trampoline? Yay! Can a trampoline really recreate these movie level shots? That's what we're gonna find out today. Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. Today we're going to be jumping on trampolines with Chelsea Kawhi. But before we show you the results, we have to tell you how we got there. Drive, Chelsea, drive. Here we go. Drive, like, drive, drive, we gotta get out of here. No, I'm already gonna get lost. <laughs> <laughs> Today we're headed to Alabama Hills to do a uh, photo shoot with Chelsea. Hi. Actually, it's Chelsea's photo shoot. We're just here to assist. Oh my God. <laughs> Okay, so what's the photo shoot, Chelsea? Quick synopsis. I have a few acrobatic friends. They're gonna be jumping on a trampoline out in the desert with the mountains and just kind of like having a good time. I think the vision is there and now we just have to execute it. Yeah. Everything's gonna go very well, I think. We have all the pieces for an amazing shoot and now we just have to put them together. So we're gonna eat some snacks and drive a few more hours and we'll update you guys when we get there. So here's the plan. Step one, drive a trampoline to the middle of nowhere. Step two, scout some locations to put that trampoline. Step three, set up the trampoline and our cameras. And step four, start shooting and show you the results. Oh my God, horses. Chelsea found the horses. They're so cute. We made it. We made it in record time as well, I will add. Now we're here in Alabama Hills. Wow. That looks so cool. Chelsea, what is one thing you're just so stoked on for this shoot? I mean, the weather's just beautiful. This to me is like the fun part. The stressful part is always like the planning, the decision making, the coordinating everyone's schedules. So now we're just in the playtime where I think the energy of how much fun everyone's having translates into the photos. And so I just want to make it like the most fun ever. And we're literally just being kids bringing a trampoline out into the <laughs> wilderness. Like, yeah, who does that? Anyway, we made it and now we're gonna do a bit of location scouting. Little location scout, stop number one, see what we got to work with. Right away we realized there may be a few problems. <laughs> Just looking at this road, how are we gonna get the trampoline? The trailer could be difficult. Even if we found a good place for the trampoline, we still had to make sure the truck and trailer could reach it too. There were rocks and then it kind of went down. And I feel like we could hide the trampoline down there a little bit. I gotta pee. What the heck? This is so alien-like. After looking for a few more minutes, we found a spot we liked and locked in location number one and then we headed off to look for a second location you ready to go next spot onward this is where i crashed my drone the other week i crashed the drone it's a little dusty lost a little piece there yeah i think it's broken <laughs> dang it oops oops a daisy well we made it to movie road oh he's serious putting on the lake hat just in case <laughs> Let's go explore. It's called Movie Road because they used to shoot a bunch of Western films here. But also, filming anything here looks like it's straight out of a movie. Found something. I think that's a pretty successful location scout. Yeah. Go, guys. Hello. Hello. Now that everyone's here, let's introduce the game. My name is Andreas Alfaro. I'm a professional acrobat and stuntman. I'm Corinne. I'm a professional acrobat and stuntwoman. <laughs> I'm Jake. I'm a professional trample acrobat. I perform with artist Pink and I bounce on bouncy things for a living. Yeah. You may know Jake as Hinga Flips on YouTube, but this dude goes absolutely insane on a trampoline. We actually went over to his place right after this shoot and he taught us how to tramp wall. We'll link that video here when it's up so you can see how hard it was. But it was finally time to get started. So we chatted about some last minute details, pulled the trailer up to the spot and started to unload everything. And then things started heating up. I stole Josiah's shorts and his hat because it's hot. 
And while the crew spent their time setting up the trampoline, I started to prep the video gear. All right, Josiah. I usually shoot on Sony, but since the project's for Canon, I have to shoot on Canon. So we're getting clean with the lenses really quick. Yeah. Got it. Got to make sure they're in pristine condition. This is the Canon R5, and we're shooting on the RF 24-70, and we're shooting vertical today. Now we throw an ND on here, because it is bright as ish. Does the hat look nerdy? I mean, it looks like it's hot. I'm not a nerd. <laughs> Low key, just going through this entire menu so I can learn how to use the camera. But it'll turn out great, because the camera doesn't matter, it's the operator. Even though I might not know how to use this, I'm going to know how to use this. You know By what I mean? And the jumping has begun. I'm so excited. This is, now it's fun. Now it's fun playtime. Once all the cameras were prepped, we were ready to start shooting. The goal of this shoot was to make one behind the scenes reel of Chelsea using the Canon R8. So we threw a mic on her and as she took photos of people jumping, I filmed her and captured all the things she had to say about the camera. <laughs> Today we're shooting on the EOS R8. This is one of my favorite cameras. We are trying to get these like epic trampoline shots. My friends are all professional athletes and so we're gonna do some crazy stuff. This looks amazing. Yeah, the shoot's going pretty well. Super chill. Kinda crazy that this is work, you know? Guys, this is actually what we do to make a living. So if you wanna see more adventures like this, be sure to subscribe and keep an eye out for the next video. We just got a sick drone shot. Oh man, this guy just falls out of the sky what? and lands right on the trampoline. After that shot, I hopped on the trampoline to see if I could do a double backflip, but I could only commit to the one and a half and we had to keep moving. Okay, we're packing up. We were only supposed to be here for an hour and uh, it's been probably like three or four. I don't know, we lost track of time because we got lost in the sauce making art. Closing, exiting, next location. Yay, come on. What? I was trampoline surfing. Trampoline surfing was uh, 10 out of 10. That might be more fun than the, other than the dust. So nine out of 10. We're back to movie road. We've already found the new spot. Okay, but the, the light's going out. We gotta hurry. All right, location number two. We're setting the trampoline up in this little space right here. The sun is going down. The light's gonna be juicy, guys. <laughs> Turns out, you don't need $100,000 rigs to make it look like you're falling out of the sky. Sometimes all you need is some creativity and good friends. You need more hands? We did promise to show you the results. So without further ado, here are the shots that Sarah and I were able to capture. I love how you're just like floating in the sky. And that's the story of when we brought a trampoline to the middle of nowhere. And oh, I almost forgot. Yep. Yeah! Oh! I landed the double backflip. Okay guys, that was it. Hope you enjoyed. Love you, bye. Bye.